I see 28 people here. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me. Just drop a message in chat. Okay, you can see in here. That's good. Thank you, Mark, for letting me know. Okay, I just enabled chat. All good. Voice, video. 43 people, 44. Wow, the number is growing. That's good. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining this webinar. I'm very excited. Thank you, Raghu, Sanjay. Thank you, everyone. Let me just stream it live on Facebook, and then we'll start. Okay, it seems like we are live on Facebook. Um, all good on Facebook. Anyone can confirm and check this this for me. Um, just confirm if you uh, you can see me on Facebook. Hey, Kiran, nice to see you here. Hi, Joseph. Um, all good on Facebook. Okay, all good. Thank you. Uh, let's share my screen and uh, start this. I think everyone can see now. So, um, well and good. Great. Um, so what are we building today? Uh, very excited for this. Um, this is going to be like a, around three to four webinar series. Um, last one is going to be like maybe after a month uh, when the website is live so that we get some dates on uh, what all went, how is the traffic, what is the revenue and everything. So we are going to build and launch our hyperlocal marketplace uh, using Texa. And uh, this is going to be built something like um, a smaller version of TripAdvisor or like Craigslist or like Zillow. Um, if you, or maybe something like City Search. Yeah, so I have City Search open. Very famous website for looking for things online in, in the US and other places. And you can type maybe cleaning something like that and click search it will find some listings for you um this is what we are going to build okay it's fine but uh, this is what we are going to build um on a very small scale um so let's let's start um why are we building this okay um yeah you can raise hands and you can ask questions i'll be taking all the questions um in between after completing each session um each section and then like we can take all the questions. So why we are building this? Um, we are building this website to make things easier for new people moving in any city or like tourists, visiting your city and looking for like any things like hotels, restaurants, apartments, weekly events or things like that. Um, we are building this to create a side business with your minimum involvement, which is like purely automated. You don't need to like see day-to-day -day activities on this website. It will be fully automated from start to end. And um, probably you can have a good revenue source. Um, if you build this, um, you can probably make around one to 5K depending on what time kind of like niche you are targeting and um, who is your target audience. Depending on that, uh, you can make one to 5K uh, from this website. Um, okay, I see two people, many people are raising hands. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, this is going to get recorded. Um, so yeah, all, all, all things will be recorded and it will be uploaded on YouTube for you guys. So don't, don't think of this as like only for like cities. It can be like, a jobs listing. It can be about real estate listing. It can be about, um, alerts on any new events happening in your city. So just find like a target, a specific niche, and then you can build your listing website and it may so happen that like some of those automations are not available that you need on Texo. Uh, we'll discuss that part later. Um, and why these kind of websites are so good. Um, the reason is that like those companies which are the best companies where data is being generated by the users. We all know that, right? So think of Instagram, think of Facebook, think of Zillow, think of Google, all this TikTok, um, all these websites are in like, they are like multi-billion dollar companies because they are not generated data. Data is generated by us, right? And, and these websites work so well because when data is generated by others, people come on this website and try to maybe like drop ads, maybe try to uh, get more traction for, from all this like data, right? Make use of this data. So um, Facebook, Instagram, these are like people are generating data and we are trying to make use of it at Texo, and that is what is happening for all the businesses. We are just trying to make use of this data that is being generated by uh, all the users. 
so listings website they work so well because we are not we don't have to do anything this is like we are just getting the list from other sources and making it or making it more organized make some little bit tweaks and making it more interactive for the people to make use of it this is what we are going to do right um and how we are going to build this we are going to build this using tegso that is first thing obviously to extract all the listings from google maps initially and we will build a couple of other scrapers down the line to as things evolve and as we see more and more use cases on this we will add uh, maybe like silo scraper um or some improvements on crack list um then any other automation that you need for building listing website just let me know after this webinar not right now um and we can look into what ways we can pull that data from there okay um the second one is going to be spread simple um this is a very simple website uh for building apps using spreadsheet um if you have um if you don't have spread simple it was on appsumo um no affiliation no recommendation or anything like that you can also try listing pro um on wordpress and um there's one more um i think i'll find that for you but you any of this two like is, is going to work really well uh with google sheets and we are going to use like google sheet as like our primary source of like database for building this whole app and the spread simple is like so powerful um it gives you a lot of freedom in cust customizations and we will also talk about adding some uh, google app scripts down the line to do some activities for us i'll be showing you that in probably second webinar when we will actually build the website um and we will use google app scripts to do some of the automations as the new data comes in maybe like filter filtering seg creating segments uh adding more colors and things like that using google app scripts okay um third is going to be stripe we will use stripe to collect payments obviously uh this is not coming probably in the first two webinars but um down the line once we think of okay now it's time to like think of some revenues or things like that we can talk about stripe i'll show you an example um that personally i use um and kind of like a maybe like i would say like listing website this works so well let me just show you recently i applied for um i was looking for 200 couple of like developers on view as you know like we are looking we are still looking for view just developers by the way um and these view jobs what they do they go to linkedin uh they extract all the jobs which says view and you can do it on on google search as well um so you can type like double quotes view developers hiring looking for something like that and these guys pull all those listings and then like show it, show them here you know uh so they do it from linkedin they do it from indeed they do it from any other major website angelist uh and they pull all these sources and just dump it here right um and this is now most visited website for hiring view developers and if you see the pricing um they charge like 299 dollars for adding posting one job because now they have a traffic and they don't even talk about the traffic and all that but they have like testimonials they have logos that people trust so they charge 299 dollars for each listing so once you have list of database that you added it goes on autopilot now you know think of yelp i'll give you example of yelp as well um i'll i'll share the link as well it is there in the doc um yelp initially um thought that like it won't be possible for them to bring businesses on and let you just write review so what they did initially they purchased like 20 million database of all the restaurants in specific like cities and they dumped that on their website build the build it like the, they built the whole like listing website right uh, and that is how the yelp was started um if you want to read the whole story i'll have added the link here you can watch it and this is the um image of initial real uh, to kick start the process of building a platform for this new review system they purchased database of over 20 million business locations this database was old and inaccurate so what they did they created a framework for what yelp called like claimed business locations business locations right so um this is again like a solid strategy for uh, uh yelp what they did was that like you purchase a list of database and then you add a function called like claim database which is like kind of like a verify so if i see my restaurant or on yelp 
I'll say like, oh, wow, Realp is not growing and they have my location, my restaurant as well. I should just claim it because it is mine, right? And that is how businesses started using Yelp more and more and, and it, 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 grew, it grew, right? Um, so this is what happens when you build a listing website. Over a time, it goes on autopilot on its own. People will think that, okay, uh, they have the database. I see my businesses as well. Uh, I can verify it. I, I, now I should, or maybe like I started a new business and I should add my listing as well here, right? So this is how like listings website go on autopilot. One of the reasons you can think of, like as soon as you build a website, you create a sitemap and submit to Google Webmasters, right? So you are just adding your listing, your website to Google and letting them know about it. Uh, as soon as you build your, your business, you add your listing, you create a Facebook page, you list your website there, right? So this is all listing websites. Um, and that is how they grow super fast because once they have the list of database to show you that, okay, we are a platform and you should be coming to us. And then you will, you will go on, on your own, right? So it goes on autopilot after some time. Um, so yeah, uh, pricing is very important. Now these guys are making good money. I contacted the uh, founder as well of this platform. Very easy, simple to develop platform. I, I'm sure that they're using some WordPress uh, fun, um, theme or something. And we can quickly check that. Um, and okay, so obviously the guy is a developer, so they're using proper framework, but you can understand it like $299 for basic, uh, functionality, which is like your listing will be available for 60 days. Uh, you will contribute to Vue.js development. Uh, we will add a tweet um, from Vue.js DOS, from Twitter handler. Think of different features, different uh, variations you can add to the pricing. And if you think of um, the, and this is only maintained by one guy. So $299. And if, if you, if we can think of like 30 posts being added every month, um, he's making like $9,000 a month. And it is not costing, I'm sure that this is not costing him a single penny because this website is like purely static website. Uh, if you know about Zamstack, um, so they are using Zamstack framework to um, build this website and this is not costing them maybe like $34 and this is like fully automated. So what are your thoughts on, on, on such websites? Let me know in, in, in the chat. Uh, do you think this is like worth building a listing website? a side business, what do you guys think? Drop in chat and we can get some reactions, right? See the power, like all automated and there's nothing you didn't need to do. And everyone just like making money on autopilot. And these guys has like a full-time job somewhere else. And he just built a side business, bringing like $10,000 $10, a month, right? From this listing website. Yeah, so this is this is what, is all about like you need to build a listing website even if you are not doing, um, not focusing on that. Just build a small listing website. Think of a business. Think of a target audience. You don't need to like build city search or like explore city and things like that. Just find a specific, um, find a very specific specific like niche that you can pick, and then boom, you are in the right direction. Uh, initially, when COVID came, uh, remote was like remote jobs were like booming. So people were looking for remote jobs. And I'm sure that we all know about remote jobs website, remotejobs.co.uk or something, remotejobs.com, right? Um, it, it is all fully automated. Um, they purchased the database, they spread the listings, they added it on their website from LinkedIn, Indeed, and all the sources. And now it, it is on autopilot. What if, if I'm hiring a remote developer, I can I should be adding my job on remote jobs because it is, it is so famous, right? So this is what is um, um, listing is all about. Listing websites work really well. And I wanted to do this webinar since quite some time because I feel that like anyone can build it by finding a specific niche. Why I'm talking about this niche is like so important because if you if you think of okay, I should be building like you know um, another like Zillow. It is not going to happen. It will take a lot of your resources. It will take a lot of your time to um, and you'll be scraping tons of data to get some traction because now you have like expanded yourself and um, you are making something so big. You want to build a, like a billion dollar company. That is not. I won't recommend it. Um, it will take a lot of time. 
So um, just find a specific niche like this guy, like Vue jobs, uh, which is like people who you who use Vue framework, they are going to come to the website and, and upload their jobs. And Vue is like Vue is like a front end framework which is getting so viral like nowadays, and people are are learning it. People want to get a job in it, and this guy found the right uh, segment, right? So don't uh, think of starting something which is very very big just think of if you can if you can just handle like 5000 people um just just focus on that okay 5000 people how i can serve um a listing website to of 5000 people in a specific segment only focus on that that is that is how we will get this side business set up and up and running on autopilot if you think of serving the whole united states or like the whole world with some listings um, like Amazon, don't though you are not going to make it. So um, don't think about all that. Just focus on like what can I build that will help 5,000 people in a specific market. And I know that market a little bit. Not like I'm not like super experienced in it, but I just know how to do it, um, how to make it work. So just know that, and then you should be like building this listing website. Okay. Um, moving on to the next part. Uh, how are we going to launch and market this? So this is very important um, based on like, and I've been preparing this webinar since quite some time uh, based on all my uh, research and what I saw people initially launch um, on Reddit. Uh, if it is very hyper local, uh, if you're talking about any development kind of like listings like jobs, you should be talking about that on LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, then you can talk about that on Quora as well, um, including Facebook. Um, but if you're building specific things later, like city or like for normal people, uh, Reddit, all the red subreddit groups, especially the cities are very good. You should definitely contact local news channels because I saw that like a lot of local uh, news agencies do cover um, uh, specific like launches done by any normal guy in the city. And they kind of like promote it very heavily. I'll add more sources to this. I will share this doc with you guys so you can read it um, with all the links. So I'll include the links of people who are talking about launching their like small app or like site or on in different local news. So if you are in the US, um, you're watching like CBS Boston, for example, um, you will see tons of like news about people doing some stuff um, for their city and they get good, good traction. Um, same goes for Reddit. So um, in Reddit, like, don't focus on like uh, Boston sub. It is again uh, going to be like you may probably get banned, but you can always find all the small, small like town and neighborhoods subreddits on Reddit, and then um, uh, talk about it, right? So um, for example, like we have a the place where I live, it's very close. There is a neighborhood called Waltham. Um, that's where probably I'm, I'm, I'm residing right now. Uh, and we have like a Reddit uh, group, the subreddit community where I'm very active. So I keep on like asking questions about different things and people respond to me. Now they know me as well that I, I live here um, because they have seen my username quite some time. Um, so whenever I post something, they definitely respond um, and, and talk about it. So you first obviously want to like build some traction and before you obviously like spam or like promote your stuff. So um, just build your, be active in the sub. Now you're going to like build some listings and you know what you're going to do. Focus on, uh, make a list of like subreddits that you will be promoting your uh, listing website. And then just try to be a little bit active there so that you can, you know, people know, those like moderators know you that, okay, you are, we provide value, you don't spam. Um, and then that will be a good route to go. Reddit is going to make you viral if you, uh, if you do it the right way. Um, other sources I could not add it. Um, I'll just add, uh, yeah, so I talked about CBS Boston, WCB, NBC Boston, all those like local news channels, right? Um, I think like Facebook groups, um, I'm not sure why I did not add it, let's add it. Facebook groups are so powerful. Um, just search um, in your city, just search uh, free stuff in Boston, free stuff, uh, Boston Marketplace, um, Boston Social Groups, uh, or like if you are in 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 Miami, just search like 
Miami events, Miami groups on all, the, all that. You'll find tons of Facebook groups that you can join. Um, again, as soon as you join, don't spam, don't promote your stuff, just build some repo and then talk, talk about your stuff. So, but you will find tons of Facebook groups in any, any major cities, okay? Um, so this is one. And obviously all things will obviously be like free launch. You are not going to um, add the pricing right away. Um, if you see, okay, this is not free, people are not going to get see it right away because they know that, okay, this guy is like promoting some stuff. It is not free resources. It is not free listings. So don't add pricing right away when you launch. Make sure that if your platform, whatever you build your in your listings is totally free. Um, probably like after two months, you need to add the pricing and, and talk about other things. But initially, when you are launching and promoting your stuff, don't add any pricing to your website. Um, if you are building a listing website for restaurants, uh, maybe something like, think of this. Uh, if you talk about just reviews, it may not go viral. If you think of like badreviews.com, um, then it, it may go viral. You can say like, um, bad reviews, find all the bad reviews about a restaurant or like hotels. And then like people will come to this website because they want to see what things are bad about this hotel before they book it. So they will come to your website and read about it. So just find a different way of doing something. Uh, don't, if you even, so in listings as well, don't just do like a normal stuff that people find on Google Maps, right? Uh, they want to find something which is not available without doing some extra work, right? So if I search something on Google Maps um, and it is available to me right away, um, then there's no meaning, right? Um, things to do in Boston and and I can probably get this list right away. But if I'm not sure now that like in major, major of science, what keywords people have talked more, what is like, so major of science, one thing uh, that you should be aware of, just so if you are coming to Boston, if you have Bank of America credit card, uh, they give you free entry on weekends. Okay, but this is not available here because, like, I can I can I can see the list, but I don't know. Like, if I'm going to Museum of Science, I just need to be aware of something. And if you see all the reviews, you will find this specific mentions and in different reviews, and you should be able to pick that and add to your website, right? So, don't add all the generic stuff that people can find without doing some extra work you need to make that extra work easier by building this listing website, right? So um, it can be like negative reviews.com um, or maybe like side-by-side -side review of like good reviews and bad reviews. Um, that way people can see, okay, this is good, this is bad. Uh, this hotel is, is at a good location, but their room cleaning stuff is very poor. So um, you can build all the pros and cons kind of listings um, and we'll be talking about that in the second webinar when we will actually build a website to show you like how exactly to build these different sections on a website and make it more use usable, right? Um, and you can also add like local events and city updates later for all your members. So once you get traction, once you have some members, uh, you need to add a couple of other things. One thing I forgot while talking about all this, um, new website is good if you are not collecting emails. So first thing first, again, once we start building the website, we are going to make sure that the first thing we add is like subscription form or like a way to get emails. Uh, this is like so important right now, like email is the only thing which is so important in, in online business. You are not going to make use of your website if you're not collecting the emails. Emails are going to help you when you are doing the advertisement thing, uh, maybe later and you can show your well, your advertisers that we have 20,000 plus emails of Boston residents. Um, and you should be, if you promote some stuff with us, we will charge you to $99 and it will go to like most of the Boston residents, right? They will get to know about your business. So um, uh, this is how the you will make money. So make sure to add emails first thing first when you are launching this website. Um, and later down the line, you can add like local events, weekly updates, city updates, sometimes like the MBTA, which is our local um, subway and all that, they do some construction works, something is like off. Um, all the residents 
right now they follow different edit groups um, and they scout groups to get these alerts. But if you can add those things on your website, um, then it can work really well, right? So um, think of all this, think of different things that you can do down the line to make your website more um, useful for um, your targeted audience, okay? I hope I'm not going super fast. I do have a lot of things to cover before I actually start doing some stuff. I just want to give an overview of everything. So um, if you're like, if you like this whole part till now, let me know in comments uh, and I'll just quickly check the Q and A as well. Yeah, I'll just, I'm just looking at comments. Um, and if you guys have any comments on what we just covered, let me know, we can answer this. Um, yeah, you can take the, any listing, but if you're, if you're good with WordPress, I'll recommend taking WordPress theme. Um, I am not, I, I kind of like, a, I, I am like big fan of like doing things fast. So um, um, I can use Spread Simple, which is very good. But if you are good with WordPress, you know how to set up everything. You can use any of these WordPress uh, themes that people are rec recommending. Um, Citadela is like one. Um, then WP Listing Pro, someone mentioned. Um, you can use any of this. Um, and then someone says like, I want to scrape data from just dial. Um, how can I do it using Texo? So right now, just dial is, is not there on Texo yet. Um, but we, we, we can figure out a way to do it. Um, obviously, Texo cannot fulfill all the use cases, all the websites right now. Uh, we do are, we are definitely working on something to make automations work on any website. Down the line, it, is, it will come at some point. The work is, is, is going on. Um, but I can still find some way to scrape this information for you. Amud. Okay, so Amud, uh, maybe after the webinar, um, just ping me and um, I can, we can try some methods and if it works, I'll just let all the users know as well how to, um, how to do it. So one thing that I decided now is that like, whatever I'll be doing, I'll make sure that I drop that in the community and let people know that this is how you do it. Um, and that is how, what I and like Arman, everyone discussed that, like, we'll just try to be more active in community, share all things that we know and whatever we find, we will just share that in the community. So. Amod, once I find just style how to scrape that, um, I'll, I'll share that with the with you and everyone, okay? Uh, Jamil, you are seeing a ripoff report for restaurants. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that like it's a ripoff report. I'll just say that like, again, like not restaurant, I don't want to kill like a small business. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. I think like uh, hotels, uh, having like pros and cons for hotels is going to be very important. Um, and one thing that I would also add, again, this is not going on record, so it won't be there on YouTube. Um, always think of like from business point of view, um, and again, do support like small businesses. So we do want to support all the small businesses. That is why we are building this website anyway. So um, to get more people coming to your restaurant. Um, so not specific talking about like all the bad things or like deep off report for restaurants. It can be like, uh, it can be particularly useful for hotels, right? Which is like very important. If, I'm sure that like whenever you book a hotel, you always check a couple of things like location. Um, if you are going, if you're not going by car, like local transportation and how close it is to a bus stop or like subway. Um, and then like, what are the good things about the restaurant? What people have said uh, in the reviews about the restaurant. So, I, uh, sorry, hotel. So I do understand that like for restaurant, it may not be good, but for hotel, this is going to be very, very beneficial for all the users. Okay. so. Um, then Alexandra is saying billion directories uses Gutenberg. Yeah, I mean, like for building the website, I'm not going to go in much detail. You can pick any any framework, any website, any theme that works really well. Um, can you share the doc, Luis? Yes, uh, Luis, I will definitely share the doc probably after the webinar because I, I'm still preparing all the notes and whatever I have done till now, it is like only for the first webinar. So once all three are like done, uh, we will share this talk with everyone. Um, thank you, LR. Um, I, only, I can only see your first two letters, but yeah, thank you. Definitely a lot of work has been uh, done to prepare this webinar. Um, 
can we build with bubble yes or of you can definitely build this with bubble um bubble is not that kind of like uh, i tried the bubble uh, website platform it is definitely very solid um but it is ha it has some like learning curve so i'm not i i'm not recommending it in the webinar but if you know bubble um you can definitely use it um can i use this training to build a local directory for another country and not my home country yes pasha for sure like no one is stopping you just build for any any country you want right um just know that whatever you are building you have you have some specific like knowledge in it you know what you are doing just if people like obviously people will reach out to you talk about different things options and all that and if you know how to do it you can you can you should be building for any website any country doesn't matter uh gary you're asking um this might be a question for later on but most if not all the websites in my country when it comes to real estates are very old and do not have web hooks or apis to scrape automatically is this a requirement or texo can still work on such websites um so texo can work on all the websites down the line right now texo can not work on all the websites but um apart from texo i do have list of tools that you can use to scrape data uh from any website um we can talk about that gary later so just you can send me all the list of websites that you think that you need data from it and i can find a way to automate that for you um in some way or another so um you can we can talk about that in the end ashutosh um is saying i have written a just call scraper uh, make it open source yeah ashutosh open source is the way to go and we do believe at texo as well so um whatever you we created just make it open source so that we all can contribute and probably i can uh, make it live on texo as well and then add a remark that this is open source package done by ashutosh one of our user okay so um make sure to let me know when you make it open source we can give it a shot um and probably add on texo um that is how our development mar developer marketplace is going to be down the line so all things should be uh, everyone should be able to build like scrapers and deploy inside texo and it should be all available on github um marco you're saying uh, will the notes be available yes uh, notes will be available um for everyone probably after the third webinar uh, not right now uh, so i just need to add all the links on notes and on things that i talked about to make sure that i'm talking or talk like i'm talking with facts so i'll just add resources references uh, and then make it available um are you going to share the recording yes part recording will be available on youtube with some edits um the things that i'm talking here some of the things um maybe we can only be keep it specific for this webinar so youtube the video will be available on youtube with some edits um ajat you are saying uh well said uh local businesses need help yes when they grow they can afford to pay for your services later better yes um roman you're saying um we can have a big challenge for you how with the use of tags of find similar or close to clients for the blacksmith business google maps doesn't return good results um yeah that's a good question uh definitely a challenge uh roman so um um we can discuss that in in a message and then we can once we figure out we can share that this with the community okay um google maps definitely does not return like all the all the results all the time so uh, i'll show you that we are very uh, very very soon where like we'll go more like in depth about specific location and specific departments um but yeah roman um, i'm say, i'm just taking a taking a notes on your question to come back to this later um give me a minute just taking couple of questions that i should be looking at later um uh jeremy you are saying in a city listings context what can we do that will make this better alternative than trip advisor um so jeremy this is a very good question um i don't think that like we can right now like build something that will compete with trip advisor so tripadvisor had initially like pulled all these listings from 
from all the sources, including Google. That is how we, what they, that is how they, they, they started. And then um, they kind of like the platform grew on its own and now they have added like bookings, people can add reviews and, and they have forums and all that. You know, this, that is how everything begins. So you build the listing website, market it so well that people start creating content on your on top of your your platform so um i don't think you when you say like you can make it better an alternative than tip advisor you can make it better uh in a specific segment or in a specific uh, maybe like uh category right so tip advisor has everything they have like things to do they have hotels they have flights um they have forum and all those things um attractions but like you can pick any one specific like segment and only focus on that. And then you can be better than TripAdvisor. But if you try to compete with the whole platform in, in one go, um, that is going to be a bad uh, decision. So uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, Mike, you're saying, how can I use Texor to escape records from behind a password operator website? So, sorry. Uh, so um, uh, Mike, um, if you can see the data, um, doesn't matter what kind of website it is. If you can see data from your from your um, from your eyes, uh, we can pull that, um, right? So that is what we are doing right now. If you think of LinkedIn, and all these sites are basically password protected, right? They have like complex passwords to to FA authentication and all that things, but we can still pull data. So um, it doesn't matter what kind of website it is, uh, as long as you can see that data, we can pull that data for you, um, and that website that you are talking about may not be available on Texo right now. We can look into it. If it is have, it is going to help a lot of users in our community, then we can build that scraper and make it available on Texo. Uh, if not, then uh, probably uh, we can think of finding some other way to pull that for you. Um, uh, where can I apply for the spread simple code? Uh, so Gary, um, the code, um, I think, um, yeah, so Ref, Refet is like the founder of Spread Simple. Uh, we had a talk with him very long time ago. I had messaged him yesterday asking for like, hey, we are doing a webinar and I want to get some discount code for all the users. I'm still waiting for the response. But once I get it, I'll probably um, share the discount code with you guys if you want to um, use Spread Simple. Uh, so wait for my announcement on that. Probably in the next webinar, once we start building the website, I'll just share the coupon code with you, and um, you can you can use Spread Simple if you want to. So yeah, I'll get back to you on that on second webinar. Um, Saurabh is asking, this will be a completely code no code development. Yes, uh, there's going to be no code required. If you want to do some specific stuff, um, you can use Google Apps Scripts. Probably I'll share a couple of Apps Scripts um, uh, during the webinar, and I'll share that like obviously later so that um, you can use it. But again, you don't need to code uh, anything for building this listing website. Um, if there is, will be any custom code required uh, for my specific website that I'll be building, and obviously I'll be giving it away to someone in the community, um, I'll write all the app scripts uh, for those, that specific website, and you can definitely make use of it with some minor changes. So no coding required for building any of this, whatever we show you, no coding is required. Um, I should be probably getting back to the section, but I'll just take a couple of more questions. Is it possible to run a similar workflow using companies across the nation instead of working? Yes, yes, Marco, you can do it. Um, but yeah, again, uh, don't expand the horizon. I mean, like, um, be very focused uh, when you are starting. Um, maybe a new Armand's technique will do the job, but not sure there is a lot of IG users in blacksmithing business. Yeah. Um, uh, Matt, you're saying, would it be good tool for to research ideas? Would it be an good index for keyword research volume? What is your approach to testing out an idea? Yeah, we, you can think of like, um, so listings, just if you can see a table or something available somewhere and you think that, okay, I can probably take this data and then put it on, on a website, make it more easily accessible. Uh, you can do it. It can be like keyword research. Uh, it can be like, Google Analytics report, it can be anything. So um, all the keyword research tools, um, just so you know, are probably scrapers. They are searching something on Google K 
keyword research tool or maybe somewhere else. Maybe they are searching on Google directly and they are trying to show you that. So keyword research is, they don't have like a big chunk of like database from where it is all coming. So they are definitely using some tool um, to build that. I see that it is already 1045. Let me get back to the main section so that we at least talk, complete those things and then we'll talk about all the questions, okay? Um, thank you guys. Thank you for all the questions. This is very good. Uh, let's get back to um, what we were talking. So we talked about like how we are going to launch and market this, right? Um, in what other ways can I make use of this? I think I already talked about this. I'll just quickly um, summarize job listings find and apply to specific jobs. Uh, make sure you have a niche, not a random job listing website again. Uh, for example, like React, React jobs, remote jobs, 100K jobs. 100K jobs is, is not there yet. I just thought about it. Um, so it can be like with salaries more than 100K in US. Um, you can write, build a website for this if you want to. All the salaries data is mostly available now. Uh, I think like people are adding this number, like whatever salary they are going to give to employees. So you can pull this number from uh, LinkedIn, Indeed, and all those places and uh, make a website for job specific to with some specific, like with some specific filters. Here, 100K is like the filter. So 100K jobs. It can be like um, front end, fil some filters, and then it can be the listing website for that. Uh, real estate agents alert. This is something very I'm, I'm very, very excited about. I, I'm not building it for this one, but I think like we can build something like this and sell it very well. So um, I definitely talk to a lot of people, a lot of real estate agencies here. Uh, and one thing they always say that like, they are the best when it comes to new listings. Um, so any new listing in the market, they will say that like, we get the listings first because we have tons of like, people a network and whenever a new listing is added, um, we, we get to know about that first. So um, I thought, okay, a lot of people are talking about this. Um, we should be creating some instant alerts or something whenever a new listing is added. Um, and that's what these people are doing anyway. So um, they, they have like a couple of people who are sitting on Zillow and all that places. And they have some list of neighborhoods as like filters and um, as soon as a new listing is added, they pull that from Zillow and all, like if you are in the UK, you can, you know what Zoopla is, or you know what Rightmove is. So they pull all the sources from here and then just add to their like local CRM that gave, give you access. So if you go to um, any real estate agent and say that like, hey, I want to like purchase a property, what they do is like, they will say like, hey, okay, uh, give me your uh, emails. I'll add to our like personalized CRM where you will get all the listings, uh, which is not available anywhere. Um, and uh, you, you will get those emails. Uh, so this is like kind of like automated and they paid for it. So there is one company who built this and they now they are now selling to all the real estate agencies in Boston around the area. So uh, I thought like, okay, this is kind of cool. So we can build a listings alert where like, if uh, any new listing is added on Zillow, um, it can be, instant alert sent to all the real estate uh, agencies or com agents uh, who have subscribed to our alerts and we can charge probably hundred or $200 uh, for that because obviously real estate is like very, very commodity market and, and people want to, you know, make money. So they will be pay willing to pay like anywhere from hundred to $500 um, dollars for this. If they get instant alert or and it gets added to their CRM automatically. Um, this may require some coding, um, but we can definitely do it. I want to do it, but I don't have time to do it. So that's why I added this as an example. Anyone who is smart can do it, um, but you can make a lot of money here, okay? Um, new followers. So um, track and make a list of new followers following companies on social media, get their profile details and summarize the industry. Um, this is again, kind of like listing website. Uh, Again, these are like just my thoughts on what ways you can make money apart from things that I talked about. So um, this is called social listening and audience architecture. Um, these are like two different terms that people use. You can search on this, search these two terms and you'll find HubSpot and Pipedrive and all other like big companies talking about all this. So what they do, um, big companies like NetSuite, for example, or maybe like HubSpot, um, 
what they they pay a lot of money to um, analytics companies data warehouse companies and they pull their like followers they pull um, um their like audience and they analyze what kind of like target audience what kind of like department this guy is right for example if i am following maybe a company or let's say google and then like they will prepare a report which says that like okay, this guy is like from boston and he owns like a company and um, he does this 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 and this is what his profile is like age 28 uh, talks about automation and this is all written on my profile so um, there's nothing like hidden um talks about automation uh, owns a company called texo.com um and has some 1300 1400 pro followers on twitter something like that right um and they then they categorize everything and prepare a report and give it back to these big companies and they use that to prepare different icps based on people who follow them on on social media so this is called audience architecture and a lot of big companies pay very good money for this um you can build a tool um to see all the new followers on twitter or linkedin um on instagram and as soon as a new follower is added you can build it inside texo as well i'll show you later how um and as soon as a new follower is is um is someone if you if texo is followed by a new person we will get their alerts you will take this create their profile it state their like bio and everything and make some keyword analysis on that and make a report so um again with some basic functionalities on google sheets uh, with some conditioning filters and all that you can you can make it um and you can you can build this website as well okay um you can definitely apply a lot of filters just so go you can go to google search uh, so google sheets and click on format um conditional formatting uh, is one it can or conditional filters you can use all these functionalities on google sheets um to make all the things that i'm talking about okay um google sheet is like so powerful one of the most powerful platform um for handling data um a lot of things that we want to want to make available inside texo at some point but this is very very powerful platform um to handle and manage data uh, in a, a very efficient way okay i think i already talked about examples i'm not going to talk about that anymore um you can you can see all this later um i didn't get that okay um this is one of the examples uh, apartment list so um i i found this website yesterday um i found this website yesterday um and what they do they will ask for a location and they will ask you a couple of options and when you click on let's go they will find couple of listings for you okay and if you go to this website you will find these apartments and these apartments are added on apartments.com and and other websites as well so they pull that they show it in a very nice way um and they add everything so you it it is more accessible and easily it's very easy to navigate on this website than like all these big websites and now apartment list is like very big and all the initial data and even the new data is coming from um apartment list zillow and apartments.com and all those websites and you do see this button which 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 you will add at some point on your website which is like list with us and if you list with us you to pay right pay per list model um and all those things yeah that is how all the listing websites go you list with them make money um and they get paid as well when they book some some leads and all that okay um so i think like now if we can start um i'm only going to like give you some overview and the next webinar i'll already have the data ready uh so i would i don't say like i don't want to say like homework so don't think that i'm just like doing some course but like make a list of um let's start so make a list of like i'm what we are going to build let's talk about that um uh, we are going to build a website for our local city um i think like we are going to for this we are going to build let me just add it here we are going to build boston locals.com something like that um uh, which will provide all the things you need to be aware of when you are visiting boston just an example okay uh, so it will be about things to do tourist attractions 
uh, good hotels, um, good restaurants that you should visit in different neighborhoods, how to maybe go from one location to another, what things you should be aware of and all that. So we are going to build bostonlocals.com and it doesn't matter if you are living in Boston or not. Um, if you um, if you randomly win this website, I'll help you with launch and everything and make sure that you at least hit 5K or something in monthly revenues. So, but yeah, you do have to attend all the webinars and, and actively contribute um, to, to get this. But yeah, this is what we are going to build. And how we are going to build, we are going to make a list of all the suburbs in your city. So in this case, Boston. Uh, find all the best suburbs of city. Uh, example here, Boston. Um, you can choose any city that you want to do. Um, it doesn't matter if it's your city. Go to Google and type best suburbs. Let's, let's do it. I have already done it, so um, but I still want to show you. So let's go and type just like best um, neighborhoods in Boston and you will see this list, right? So one tool that you, if you, if you don't know, um, which is called Instant Data Scraper, um, the second most used tool that I use after TechZo is like this one uh, for data scraping. So handy and so powerful. Um, so all this list that you are seeing, you can type any other city, for example, let's say that uh, maybe someone is right now sitting in Miami um, and you can get this list, right? And then you can just click on this extension um, and it will pull this data for you right away. And you can simply copy it and paste it in your Google Sheet. You can also do it in Texo, but I find this like way quicker. So uh, I use this one uh, again, like, no promotion, no affiliation with any of these tools, but they work really well. So anything that saves us time, we can talk about that. Um, so what I did, I pulled um, those listings here and added them here, right? Uh, Back Bay, Beacon Hill, South Boston, all the major neighborhoods in the city. I made a list of that. And then I'm going to talk about restaurants, hotels, things to do, apartments, car rentals. Um, now let's talk about Texo. Um, let's go to Texo. And by the way, I already have the domain and all that ready. So if, if you want to buy your domain, you can do it. Uh, take your time, don't rush. Uh, think of what you want to build. Um, it's not going to be only about city. You can think of anything. Um, let's go to Google and Google Map search. This is what we are going to use for building the whole thing that we are going to talk about. So. Very, very powerful automation uh, inside Texo. And this takes two things. One is map search, link, or a text. Um, in this case, we don't want to go and build map search links by clicking on each thing. For example, like restaurants um, in Back Bay, right? Uh, if I go and search on this on Google Maps, I will definitely find um, all the this is the back bay. So I definitely find all the restaurants here, but I don't want to like copy and paste these links for every single thing, right? And we, this is not the only one time thing. So we, we have like so many uh, locations and so many different things that we have to search. So we can simply use um, a text search. So, and which uh, Google like Texo supports that. So we can use text bus search to search all the listings. Now let's prepare our, our text search. So we'll just type uh, back Bay, in, uh, restaurants in Back Bay, restaurants in Beacon Hill, but I don't want to do it um, for every single thing. For each neighborhood, let's use some functions. So there's a function called concatenate. Um, if you don't know about it, you should definitely know about this. Um, and it will be, it will just join two strings. So um, B2 and then add some words like in, okay, let's do this. I want to do restaurants in space, some space here. Okay, restaurants um, in Back Bay, right? And then I'll just press enter. Let's see what we get. 
let's fix that quickly. Um, R E S T A U. I'm not worried about the spelling part. Let's want to make sure that this function is working well. Um, oh, B2, sorry, I just wrote the wrong thing. It should be A2. Yeah, um, all good. So yeah, and this is this is perfect. So suggest so autofill, yes, I want to do it, right? And now like our search text is ready. So um, just use this function to join two strings. And now I need to do the same thing here as well, which is going to be um, equals function name. And then I'll just type, oops, I'll just type here, um, hotels in space comma A2, right? Um, press enter and all my search text is ready, right? This is why Google's, Google Sheets is like so powerful. Like they have so many functions. We'll be talking about more functions down the line. I'll show you how powerful it gets over time when, when you start combining more and more things. Um, but you can see our search is now ready, right? Um, are you guys with me? Let me just check the comments quickly and then we'll, we'll build up the other, other two columns for us. Um, any questions till now? Uh, looking good. Give a thumbs up guys if, if all looks good. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you, Gary. Um, yeah, so uh, Krishna, I'll just drop the um, uh, function. It's called concatenate. Um, it's, um, let's just go back. I'll just drop this function here if in, in case anyone wants to use it. So powerful. Um, Saurabh is asking, can we get this the recording so that we can keep our data ready before our next webinar? Yes, um, I'll definitely share the recording so you can um, check and prepare your data. Um, maybe we can also try to contain row one headings with, yes, you can do it, Leo. Um, I just wanted to make things simpler so I'm not like taking, what happens is that like when you take the first row, sometimes like the first row uh, gets a bit messy. Uh, or it shows like errors. That's why I don't use the first row like header. I just want to keep that as like headers. So I don't use the for column one as in my functions. I start with like column two, but you can definitely use that video. So um, yes. Okay, let's let's go back. Um, so you can see like our um, things are ready. Yeah, let's, what Leo said is this, we can use simply um, the first row, which is going to be D1 and then space and comma a two um oops it's going to be d1 comma some space and then a2 and now we'll just fill it oops yeah i know white break uh white broke so um it is applying the wrong function, but yeah, let's, let's do the back of what, what we were just doing. So nothing new. I don't want to break something new on the, on the webinar. Um, things to do in space. Active. Okay. Boom. Um, same way. I'll just quickly do for all. I don't need to, I don't think we need to like talk about it again and again. So let's quickly do it and start running this function so that it gets ready for our next webinar. Um, apartments to apartments in comma. Done. Last thing. Um, Rentals, car rentals is like kind of like very common. You, anyone, someone is visiting, they want definitely want to rent cars and all that. Uh, we can add more stuff like attractions and all those things. I will have all those things ready. As you can see here, uh, if you see it down at the bottom, uh, what you should do, restaurants, hotels, things to do, apartments, car rentals, cleaning services, primary schools, and all those things. Uh, I want to scrape. So I'll probably like by the next time, next week when we talk about this, we will have all the data ready. So. Um, I just like making the preparing our search queries uh, for TEXA. 
Uh, let's quickly add one last thing, which is going to be from Kate, um, car rentals space, um, comma, A2. And it will be ready. Now, what we need to do is that we need to uh, start our scraping um, of all this data. So let's go back to TechSoft and I'll just set up a schedule quickly. So Google Sheets, um, let's make this private, uh, sorry, a public. Um, and I'll just make it, anyone can view, copy link, go back to TechSoft drop our um, URL here. I'll start with the restaurants. Um, and just so you know why we are doing this right now before in the first webinar, because we will, you will have like tons of things to like uh, probably scrape. And I don't want to like do like millions of scraping for this webinar. But um, if you are building this with me uh, in the next three weeks, uh, you probably want to make your search queries and all those things handy, and then you want to start, start your scraping. So it takes time, right? Because each one restaurant, one one search will have probably like hundred or two hundred listings. So just think of like how much data you will probably collect over. Uh, uh, so it needs to have like a proper schedule, and it, it will run on its own over time. So you need to make sure that you start it today or by tomorrow, so that you have the data ready when you are building the website. Um, in the next webinar. So I have my search URLs ready. I'll start with the restaurants. Um, so I'll just select my column and column B, which is like restaurants. Um, and the first row are headers. So I'll just select this box. Process on individuals will be handy. Yes, this is what I want to talk about. Um, so we are going to set up a schedule next week because once you scrape the basic listings, you want to make sure that whatever new thing that you got for that specific search is now available in your site, on your website. So um, make sure to check this box so that after the first run, you don't get the same data again and again. So um, since this is like totally new, it will probably scrape everything, but from the next time onwards, it will probably only find the new results for me and, and give it back, right? So make sure to check this box. Um, um, I don't want to skip any rows. Ideally, for this large search, we do want to use proxy, but I'm not using it only for this webinar. But if I'm going to build the website, um, I'm, I'll be using my like proxy because I don't want to get text or IP address or anything. Like I don't want to get blogged or something. If you're doing on desktop app, um, for this one, I don't recommend desktop app uh, for scaling, like scraping this large number of queries in desktop. Um, probably because desktop uses your own IP address. So uh, don't get bl blocked. Um, use cloud, which will run more faster for you. Um, and it is again running on cloud and, and it does not, you can you can even use without proxy on cloud if you want to. Um, set up a schedule, let's quickly set up a schedule. Um, I want to make sure that like Texo is waiting for at least 15 minutes for each, before each new operation. Um, and for inquiries, um, rules for operation, I don't want to do any of this. Exclude between, no, 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 you can run all day and night, I don't care. So no, don't want to specify any dates. Um, and I just want to click submit. I think like waiting between five minutes minimum um, to max 15 minutes is good. I want to make sure that you take some rest exo before you run uh, the next column because I know you will get tired with like so many scripting. Uh, let's submit our Google Sheet. I forgot to name it, so let's do it. Um, Boston locals listing restaurants. Okay, boom. Now um, it will search. It will take the queries, it will start loading the results, it will run the automation. Um, it will remove duplicates from previous executions. There are no duplicates right now. Um, let it keep, like I will just keep it running for the whole week and then probably get our data ready when we are talking next week on Thursday. Um, let's make sure that we are getting the results. So I'll click, okay, this is going to take some time. So till then we can take some more questions. So. Um, Let's go back to um, Zoom. 
any other questions um anyone um, has any questions on this yeah recording will be available uh here so um um you can we can watch it later um yes gary if you have any questions just go ahead um how do i know if i had desktop or cloud version um if you are if you see if you can log into app.dexor.com and you, you will quickly know if you have a desktop plan it will show you a message um Amod is asking, I have no experience in building a website, just a simple landing page. How difficult it will be make to make a website? Amod, make sure, uh, join our next webinar. We'll be, I'll be building the whole thing from scratch. And I have not used Spread Simple at all. So again, it will be totally new for me. And I'll definitely prepare something for before the webinar just to make sure that I don't waste my time. But uh, again, I'm just going to be totally new for this specific kind of website, okay? So we can build it together. Um, work for affiliate listing scraping um yeah Raghu, you can use it for affiliates um you can use it for anything to basically what is the name of extension do you use for scraping name of suburbs um i used instant data scraper um you can you can download it you can use it no affiliation with them uh, i have never talked to their team but um it's a very good extension for quick instant scraping of any specific data um Will Texo scrape all the restaurants in Boston or only a certain number of people? It will scrape all, all the restaurants. Um, whatever there is, is there in the search features, it will pull everything. Uh, let's go and quickly check um, how things are going here. Okay, nice. So um, let's see. Um, yeah, so you can see now it is like running and it will give me all the data. Sorry. Um, and probably after this webinar, um, in the next webinar, in the first 50 minutes, I'll show you how to categorize it, how to, how to filter it out to make sure that um, we don't mix up everything. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about all those things, uh, creating more filters, uh, cleaning our data and uh, it will be uploaded here and then we'll probably add filters, drop downs and all those things in Google Sheets to, so that like, even if I'm adding anything new, I can edit it my Google Sheet very well and it's all organized. So all the filters, all the conditional based like data formatting in Google Sheets and then building the whole website using Spread Simple will be covered in the next webinar. Um, I think like it's, it's already 11, um, 11 for me. Um, but let me know if you have any questions, we can take all the questions and then we'll, we'll end the webinar. Um, but make sure that you do your homework, uh, and get your listings ready so that you can develop it with me, um, next week. Okay. Um, any questions, um, can we build comparison website? Yes, you can. Uh, just make sure that whatever data you want to show on your website is available somewhere so that you can, you know, figure out um, a way to do it over time. So if you want to build a comparison website, um, you can do it. Um, just find the websites which talks about comparisons and good and bad and all that. And then you can pull the data and then you can make a list of website, make it more cleaner and easier to access. And you can build it, yes. Um, Joshua, you're asking, uh, should we uh, niche down when scraping from Google Maps? Yes, um, yes, Joshua. You, yeah, that's a good thing to do, at least. Um, you should, um, if you are, you know, um, American and Chinese restaurants, yes, you can. Um, you can definitely, you should definitely do that. I, I did not do it, but um, ideally, yes, people definitely want to see, you know, specific restaurants when they are looking for something. So you can do much more, like add more filters and do a specific search. Um, Tasha is asking, would you also be discussing SEO for ranking listing website? That's a very good question. So um, listings website usually work very well because data is being generated from third party and Google cares about like content, links, backlinks and all that, those things. So um, we will we will definitely need, need some work on SEO and traffic and without traffic, no one is going to pay us like all the advertisers. Um, so we will definitely work on it. Um, I can give us some, I can prepare some actionable plans for SEO um, once our website is ready. And, and share it with you. Okay, Tasha. So um, 
I'll make sure that I, I add everything in the doc. So once our website is ready, I'll just add like check, SEO checklist, list of things that you can do to improve your SEO and get some traffic. Um, Jeremy, yes, our recording will be available in some time after I complete the webinar. Um, Krishna, have you set path different sheets where restaurants will be populated on restaurants? Speak? Uh, right now, no, I've just started the scraper. So I'll just let it run. And then when it gets completed, I'll simply upload that on Google Sheet. Yes, I really, we do want to make sure that it automatically gets pushed to Google Sheets. So um, I should have I actually, I should have been like created, it should have been a, a recipe, but since it's not a recipe, it's a spice, um, it will give me data in a CSV format, or I can simply upload the link using, I think like I've talked about it multiple times. Um, you know about this function um, called, let's see, click on generate public URL by going on Tagsaw and then copy this public URL. Um, if you don't want to do all that like manual work, there's a function called import data and it takes the URL from Tagsaw and you just need to press enter and boom, done. So, um, uh, this is one of those functions that I use a lot. Um, this may not work in case if you have like more than thousands or like 5,000, 10,000 listings, but make sure to use this function a lot. Uh, if you are just scraping data from Texas and you just want to push it quickly to um, Google Sheets, uh, the function name is um, import data. Very powerful function. Um, that's why I like Google Sheets a lot. Um, and it works so well. Um, okay, last question, I'm, uh, and then I'll end the webinar and just give a quick summary of not what we're going to do next week. Can I use a VPN instead of proxy? Yes, okay, sir, uh, Cesar, I hope I'm calling your name properly. Um, VPN is good for desktop. Uh, proxy is needed for cloud. So um, you can definitely use VPN for desktop app and proxy is a must for um, a cloud for scaling like for pulling like data at this scale, okay? So it's very, very, you will get like, we will probably pull like millions of data. So uh, down the line, if you are building proper website, so um, uh, proxy is like highly recommended. You can try VPN on desktop. If you've created any issue, just let me know. You can drop me a message on Facebook uh, and I'll, I'll quickly look into it. Okay, I'm going to end the webinar right here. Um, we'll just make some edits and then uh, deploy it, or like, sorry, uh, Dev guys are talking about deployment, but yeah, it will be added on uh, YouTube. Okay. Uh, if you like this session, let me know in comments. I want to make sure that we utilize our time for good. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah. Looks like we did the right thing. So um, uh, yeah, next week we are going to build this website and then um, it will be uh, available for everyone to see what we have built by the end of this end of that webinar. And in third webinar, we'll probably actually like we'll launch the website while on the webinar in all the Reddit groups, Facebook groups, and then see all the launch strategies. And we'll talk about the pricing as the next step, how to you know, make money. Um, and the final webinar, fourth webinar, I'm going to push it after a month so that we get some traffic. We know, okay, now it is getting some traction and now it's time to like make some money. So I'll talk about that in the last webinar, which is going to be like, okay, all about money things. How can I make like 1K or 5K anywhere on that by this side side automated like business side project. So we'll talk about that in last webinar and then I'll give it the website to someone from the uh, attendees and we'll do that like how to do it. I'll, I know how to do it. So we can just, it will be all live. So uh, there is like no secrets, nothing hidden. Uh, we'll just give it to someone from the community. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining this webinar. We had a great time. Uh, see you next Thursday. Okay. Take care. Bye.